Hey everybody, welcome to Guns, Optics, and Reloading. My name is Brian, and welcome to another episode. Uh, the kind folks over at Bushnell were nice enough to send us a, another uh, toy to unbox and show y'all, so I really wanted to get this out. These are the new Bushnell Forged Binoculars. These are the top of the line, right here. Uh, this is a uh, 10 by 42 um, and it has all the features which we'll go over here in a little bit. But uh, I actually have a set of the Prime Series, which are the budget uh, budget ones. So let me pull those out. That's these right here. So I'll just set these right here next to it. These are the budget ones. These are the top of the line. Um, so we're going to go ahead and unbox this. We're going to show you uh, what's in the box, what they have. And... Um, I think you're really going to like them. Uh, I'm really looking forward to actually taking these out. We're actually going to be going out and doing a, another challenge for Bushnell. So we'll be actually using these in the field tomorrow. Um, and hopefully I'll maybe put a couple of clips of us using them in this video so you can kind of see what they look like outside. But for today, this is going to be the unboxing video. And we're going to talk about the features. And so here they go. So we're just going to go ahead and... It's like Christmas all the time. So let's go ahead and unbox this. Got some uh, paperwork and some more paperwork. Congratulations. Uh, and just so you know, these are not my binoculars. These are uh, being loaned to me uh, from my friend who is a sponsored Bushnell shooter. So these are, these are on loan. So let's see. I like the uh, come in a nice bag. Let's just move this over here. And it's the same case as the 15. They just make the 15 yeah. case bigger. Uh, let's see. It's some Velcro straps to hold this thing together. Let's see. So here we go. Let's just go ahead and let's go ahead and get the binos out first. Nice bag that they're in. So silky and smooth and soft. I wonder if you could use this as a lens wipe. I wouldn't. <laughs> and I think there's one in there. By the way, just in case you hear somebody talking in the background, that is Brandon. He is the Bushnell sponsored shooter. These are his finos, and he's making sure I don't break them. So Adult supervision required. <laughs> yes, adult supervision required. So here are the Forge. So as you can see, compared to the Prime, they're a little bit longer. And I'll go over some hardcore specs with you. They definitely have some more features. Um, but uh, so check those out. I don't know if this thing will auto focus or not. But I don't think it will. But So that's them. So let's go ahead and set these back in here. And let's see, you get a strap you get another type of strap here's the lens wipes use this not the bag and this is a shoulder harness chest harness sorry yeah, so the, there's one strap in there the skinny strap is for the case okay okay so this is the, the skinny one is for the case no, that's the fat one that's oh, the one that goes this is with the, the fat one harness. this right one there. goes with the shoulder harness the skinny one goes with this case here he thinks so we'll find out and yeah, take it and play with it okay. so let's see so i'm just going to go ahead and set these let's go this direction so you can see them i'm just going to spin stuff all over this this table real quick so anyways i'm going to go ahead and uh let me put this over here i got my cheat sheet over here so i'm going to be reading but here i'll show you this real quick Check that out. See, so here's some of the stuff you get. Talks about uh, the binoculars and some of the features they have. Uh, and one of them, uh, which is really cool, is that it has a locking diopter. So for those of you who play around with binoculars, you know, once you get them set for your eyes, especially if you've got glasses or whatever, uh, sometimes you loan them out to somebody and you get them back and they're all screwed up and it takes you, you know, a couple minutes to get them back in. 
with this, you can actually lock these down and nobody can screw them up. I'll just go over some specs here real quick. Uh, they got 18 millimeter eye relief. Uh, they got a 4.2 millimeter exit pupil. They've got a close focus up to 10 foot. Um, they have the prism glass in there. They are fully multi-coated. They do have the exo barrier uh, coating on the glass. They do have waterproofing, the IPX7 waterproofing. Um, now, where these differ from the other models is this has the better glass. So this does have the ED Prime glass. It does have the PC3 phase coating. It does have the dielectric prism coating. It does have the ultra wide band coating, the lead free glass locking diopter, and it does have an adapter for a tripod. Now that does not come with it. It is an additional accessory that you have to purchase separately. But if you're using these for spotting, it's really nice to be able to mount these to a tripod to get some good stability out of them. Um, and we're going to be playing around with that here sometime soon. And actually, we're probably going to be doing a video uh, with Brandon talking about the difference between using binoculars and using a spotting scope for uh, spotting to see what the difference is. And we're going to hear from him. He's a professional. They do this stuff. So I know uh, from being a range officer at a lot of events, spotting is really important. And uh, I've used both. So I'd really like to hear his take on uh, uh, on what he thinks about that. So it's this is the locking diopter, and for me, it's fortunately it's lining up right on that tab, so it's easy. You literally just pull it back until it clicks, and then you can adjust it, and then make your adjustments, and then push it back. Cool. And when you do that, it locks that out. Now, obviously, that doesn't lock the focus, the focus for both of them, but it does lock out that eyepiece so that you can get your differential between the two if you need it. Cool. A um, couple other things. The outer or the eyepiece caps actually can integrate to the straps for the shoulder harness. So if you're going to be carrying it a lot like this, which is, this is originally designed for hunting. So you, that's how you would be using it is on that shoulder harness. You can pop those off and it stays with the harness. But those are detachable. These can be removed. Um, you just have to kind of pop them apart. You can see. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. Yeah, me either. I'll, I'll leave never, them You'll on. never find them again. Yeah. <laughs> no real reason to. You can kind of fold them down and out of the way. Yeah. And then you do have the twist up eye cups as well. So if you're one of those lucky people that doesn't need glasses and you want to use those, you can get your eyeballs inside of them and yeah. them soon. Yep. And you can actually get that nice little satisfactory click. Do in they twist? So you attempts. have to twist to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay. They're rubber coated for extra durability and for extra grip. I got a couple of little cutouts in the bottom down here. So if you're using them by hand, you got nice little cutouts Thumbless. for your thumbs to ride in. Yeah, and it's a nice large adjustment wheel for the focus. So it's easy to manipulate even in gloves. Cool. Again, hunting line. I mean, that's what they were made for. We're just using them for PRS matches because they're badass binders. Dude, I, at the Precision Rifle Expo, I was using those, not the 15s, the 10s, and spotting 308s and 6.5 at almost 1,050. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. Like, easily spotting at 1,000 plus. Well, that's going to do it for this video of the unboxing of the Bushnell Forge 10x42 binoculars. Um, like I said, I cannot wait to get these out and play with them tomorrow. would like to thank Bushnell and Brandon for uh, letting me have these to play with. And uh, we'll get some video clips tomorrow. And so hopefully in the next video, we'll do some more with them and show you some more out in the field and stuff like that. So anyways, that's it for this video. Have a great night.